I thought that I would vlog today because I am going to get my hair done. I just got my Bellamy hair extensions. Um, I haven't vlogged since like last year, so I thought that I'd give it a go. But I got my Bellamy hair extensions. These are in number four chocolate brown. And they're actually a lot lighter and warmer than I thought. This is the little one that like came out of the packaging. It looks really similar to my hair right now, but it is a lot lighter. So... I'm going to get my hair done today. I was going to go to a place like right next door to where I live, but they um, were all booked out. So I'm going to another hair salon that I've never been to before. I normally always go to like the same hair salon, but um, they weren't available. So actually, yeah, they were. What am I saying? I didn't want to drive all the way back to my hometown to go to the hair salon. So I'm going to this new one. I probably should get going because I'm meant to be there in 15 minutes. And then after that, I'm just going to go um, to the mall and see if I can find a few things. But Hopefully my hair turns out good. It's a lot lighter. I know that you probably can't see in person, but it is a lot lighter than my hair right now. Hopefully it looks good. I work the next couple of days, so that's why I didn't want to go get my hair done then. And I wanted to get it done now because I have the hair extensions and I was like, why not just, you know, get it done? I don't want them sitting around not being used. So that's basically it. So I will go to the hair salon and then I will show you guys what the outcome is and this is my natural hair I know you guys have seen it before it's actually getting quite long um, but you know it's not long enough hey guys so I just got out of the hair salon and um, I have my new hair just kidding it's the same thing as like I went in with I actually just got a trim um, because basically what happened is where are my hair extensions um, basically what happened is I went in with my hair extensions and I don't even know like really how to explain because I'm like really, really bad at explaining. Um, I don't know if you can see them a little bit more in the light, like kind of how warm they are. But basically I went in and normally like whenever I go into the hair salon, they don't really like tell me what I need to do with my hair. Um, they just kind of do whatever I tell them that I want. But this lady was like really informative. Like she was talking to me about like everything. And because I have, when I had really, really dark brown hair, as you guys know, because now that I have like blonde highlights, which you can't really see, but you can see them a little bit at the top there. So I have kind of like my natural hair color with blonde highlights. And because of that, in order to get to the hair color that I was going with that like really, really warm color, she would have to put red in my hair in order to get with, rid of these blonde highlights. So then I would have sort of like really, really light bits where the color would be going over the blonde and then it would be darker at the bottom where I don't have as many highlights. So basically she was saying that if I got my hair dyed that color, it would look really, really brassy and it would turn really quite red and orangey because it would fade so quickly because my hair was super damaged from the highlight. It's like I can put a really, really dark brown color in your hair. Like I can put um, like really, really dark brown, almost like red in your hair and then it'll fade to match your extensions. But she's like, but you know, obviously you got highlights before because you didn't like your dark hair. And I was like, yeah, I just didn't feel like it suited me very well. And she's like, well, you know, if you get really, really dark hair, then you can't really go back to blonde because then, you know, your hair won't be able to take it because it's already so damaged and whatever. So basically she said that what she thinks I should do <clears throat> if I want to stay, because I always wanted to stay light. Like I didn't want to go really, really dark brown. That's not what I wanted to do, which is why I got those like chocolate brown extensions I can't really go that color with my highlights right now so what I could do is like fade out my highlights and then go a really really dark color and have it fade to that color which she said would probably look a little weird or she said that I could um, grow out my natural hair so um, start and she said it's already like grown out pretty much but grow out my natural hair get rid of this blonde and then maybe get some light blonde highlights put back into my hair cool toned blonde highlights um to kind of lighten it up a little bit to be honest with you I don't really know like what she was saying like I was just kind of agreeing with everything because I'm not really like knowledgeable about hair but <clears throat> basically I thought about it and I thought I really don't want to go like a really really dark brown again even if it's going to fade and match those extensions I don't want to go dark brown because <clears throat> it just didn't suit me before and if I went dark brown and then decided to go back to being a lighter hair shade like a light brown or a blonde not that I ever want to be blonde again, but if I wanted to go back to a light brown or I wanted to get highlights, then I'd be pretty much screwed because then I'd have to go through that whole bleaching process again. And she said that my hair was really, really bad, which 
to be honest with you, like it was kind of, it looked really, really dry. So she cut off quite a bit of my hair. It feels really, really nice. I really like this color, like this color that you're seeing right now, I think really suits me. I think it really suits my skin tone in comparison to like a really, really dark brown. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to my, I, I'm going to return my Bellamy hair extensions, which is such a pain because I really don't want to return them, but I'm going to have to return them because I can't keep that hair color so I'm going to return the extensions and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep wearing my old hair extensions that I have the dark brown ones because they still kind of suit this hair um, I'm going to keep wearing them and then I'm going to grow out my blonde hair extensions and then I'm going to maybe buy hair extensions that are like a really light ash brown so that I can kind of have like this darker brown that's my natural hair on top and then have lighter color a lighter color at the bottom so that it kind of like it's like I have ombre hair because I don't really want highlights to be honest like I think that the highlights kind of look nice and they bring dimension to my face and whatever but I don't know I don't really know like hair is so confusing I really don't know what to do way anyway, right now to Priceline I've just got to go there quickly I was going to film a hair update today but I can't do that so um, I'm going to go to Priceline see if they have something which I'll show you guys if they do so I'm back in the car. This is like a complete car vlog. I'm really sorry. I just haven't vlogged in a really, really long time. So I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought I'd share with you guys a couple of things that I just purchased. So from the actual hair salon that I went to, I got a new shampoo and conditioner. I kind of needed one. She suggested a bunch of things to me, but I kind of already had like a few like leave-in treatments and everything. So this is the Joico um, K-Pack. Um... I don't know exactly what the shampoo is called. It's the, it's just the repairing damage shampoo and conditioner. So this was in a little like set. It was like $45 for both of these. Um, so it was like cheaper, which was great. And then I just went into Priceline. I got some makeup remover wipes and cotton pads, which isn't really that exciting, but I ended up getting something which I've only wanted since yesterday. Um, this is because I didn't get my hair extensions. I had to buy myself something. So I got the Derma um, Sonic Power Cleansing Brush from Skin Physics. And basically, this is meant to be pretty much the equivalent to the Clarisonic. Um, I posted on Instagram a thing yesterday asking people... Um, where they bought their Clarisonics in Australia because I've been wanting one for kind of a while but they're kind of expensive and I don't live near a place that sells them and I didn't want them to I didn't want it to break me out and I was kind of worried about that so I went on to Instagram and someone posted that they suggested that I get the Dermasonic from Skin the from Skin Physics because apparently it's um, a lot cheaper than the Clarisonic which it was this was $99 and I think the Clarisonic Mia 2 was like $175 um, so they suggested that I looked up reviews on it and pretty much everybody said it's the exact same thing as the Clarisonic so I'm super super excited that I finally have like a Clarisonic I really hope I don't break out from it but I just thought I'd give it a go um because I've been wanting one for quite a while I just didn't want to spend the money and I think that I might collect like this vlog and then another time that I'm doing something I might do and sort of like mesh them together because me just talking to you guys in a car might be a little bit boring hey guys so it is Sunday um what day is it today I don't know um I don't even know when I filmed my vlog last like what day it was it was like a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about my hair um but anyways, I just thought I would maybe kind of finish off the vlog today. I'm just going into the mall to go grocery shopping and I also want to go to Priceline and get um, some of the... My skin looks really weird today. Um, I also want to go to Priceline and get some of the Maybelline Color Elixirs because I have seen them out and I was really excited about them because I'd seen them so much on YouTube. And then I just watched a few of the colours and I was like, they're not really that great. I'd only be buying them for the sake of it and I didn't really want to waste money. And then I was watching an Amanda Ensing video last night and she was swatching some of the colours and I really, really liked them. So I'm going to go and um, maybe purchase two of them, the nude one and the pink one. I don't know why my skin looks so bizarre. Like I have a pimple here and I feel like when you put foundation over a blemish, sometimes it looks like... It looks like I have a five o'clock shadow. That's so fucked. Anyways, I'm just going to come over here. But yeah, so I'm going to go do that. And then I was going to film today, but I don't really have anything that I need to film. Like, I want to film a foundation video and a contour video and a brow video. But I need to get a few more things, like some more brushes to do that. Because I want to um, get a few Sigma brushes. So I might do that today. I really shouldn't be spending money, but I kind of need to. Um, 
a little bit of an update on my hair. You guys probably can't, I, I think you can see in the sliding, but you see the highlights there. I'm going to try and grow out um, these highlights in my hair so that my hair is sort of just one colour. And then I'm either going to leave it that colour or I'm going to just get it dyed a little bit darker. And then I think I'm going to buy another set of Bellamy hair extensions and kind of put them in like in ash brown. So it almost looks like a little bit of a custom ombre. So I have a darker bit on the top and then lighter on the bottom. And then if I don't like that look, I'm going to dye the extensions to match my hair. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I exchanged, I returned my Bellamy's that I bought um, already. It was $15 to ship them back. I was so annoyed that it was that expensive. But I've exchanged them now or returned them, sorry. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just going to let this blonde kind of fade out pretty much to the point where you can't really see it anymore. And then I'll go to the hair salon and just either leave it like that or I'll get... Um, it dyed just a little bit darker and then have like the ash brown kind of blended in so it looks ombre and as I said if I don't like it I'll just dye it so I think that's what I'm going to do with my hair so right now I'm just having to rock the natural hair because since I got it cut it's really thick um, because I don't have layers in it anymore and the hair extensions that I have are like 120 grams and they're 20, 22 inches so they're really really long in comparison to my natural hair and they're really thin so it doesn't blend in at all so I can't wear my extensions for like a couple of months I'm so so sad I'm gonna do and then I think I'm gonna come home and probably edit this vlog and yeah then I'm gonna watch Pretty Little Liars because I haven't watched it yet I don't know why I just haven't really like I've had time I just haven't watched it like season five or whatever it is so I'm gonna go Go do that and that's pretty much it for today relaxing day um, for a Sunday I worked last Sunday for the long weekend so it's kind of nice to have like a Sunday where I don't have to work oh my god I did my brows a little differently today and I kind of like got brow product right in the middle um, and I have a huge wormage there I'm just a complete mess today I'm a complete mess but anyways I'm gonna go do that and yeah I will see you guys soon I'm just in my uh, car park of my apartment and this recycling bin is so stupid. They basically said you can't put plastic bags in the recycling bin, but I'm gonna do it. I really like, I don't know where you're meant to put the plastic bags if you're not like, if like plastic bags can be recycled. I don't understand why they say you can't put plastic bags in the recycling bin. You're meant to recycle them, aren't you? Um, I just don't know where to put the bags like when I'm not, when I finish putting the recycling stuff in. So I just literally like put the bags in. I'm such a hard cunt. So I'm back in the car. You guys are probably like so sick of seeing me in the car. Um, see this like little white patch. This is where I was testing foundations. It's so funny um, in Priceline. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys. I think I got like three things. I really didn't get a lot because I didn't want to spend too much money. But I actually picked up this brush, which I've seen somebody use and I can't think of who it was. But it's um, a brush from Models Prefer. And Models Prefer, like their brushes, are, they, like they are just getting on their game. Their brushes are so good. They don't share. They're really good quality. I still want to buy Sigma ones, but really, if you're looking for like good cheap makeup brushes, I really recommend you go to Models Prefer. So I just got this angled brush. It's like a flat top um, angled brush. And I thought I'd try this for foundation because, as I said, I've seen somebody else use it. I either wanted to get that one or the airbrush foundation brush, but I just decided to get that one because I don't have something like that. Then I got this foundation, which looking at this now, I can just see that this is not going to be my colour. Um, it's I've tried these foundations before and I really do like them. They're the Rimmel Match Perfection. I just wanted to get a new foundation, but this is in the shade Light Nude. And I can see in the colour now that this is too um, pink undertoned for me. So... I think that I might take this back because I can tell this is not going to match my skin. This is too pink. I think I either should have got... They don't have like a ton of... This is the thing about drugstore foundations is they don't have like a ton of matches. But I think I might take that back right now because I can see that that's too pink. It's really hard to tell in the store because of the lighting. Um, but anyways, I think I might take that back right now because seeing that it's not going to match. And then I also picked up um, one of the color elixirs. I got it in the shade <clears throat> Petal Plush. I decided just to get one. I was going to get the Nude Illusion, but I just decided to get one. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that foundation back now because it looks kind of yellowish in um, this lighting, I think. But looking at it, it's so pale. It's, I really hate when people do that. Like, Nude is not, like, I guess, I get that people have pink undertones, but I just, I don't know. I feel like this should be called something like 
rose or light beige or something like that not a nude color anyway so i'm gonna go take that back now i don't think i'll i'll exchange it for another color i think i just might refund it so that's a shame um anyways but yeah i'm gonna see you guys when i get home and i think i'm gonna go exchange that now so hopefully i can hey guys so i just got back home and um i just wanted to like let you guys know about this color elixir i have it on right now just a really really like light wash of it i think it looks a little bit nicer um like when your lips aren't your lip color like when you put like a concealer or foundation on the top but these smell absolutely amazing like they taste amazing too i don't even know what they taste like they just taste really really good and um they're not too sticky they're a little bit sticky in my opinion but they're not too bad and yeah i really really like the color i think i thought for some reason when i opened up um this lip product it was going to be one of those ones that lit up um, I don't know why I like to have a light inside, but it has a doe foot applicator and they're so cute and I really, really like them. I'm thinking of possibly getting some more, um, like maybe the nude one, the red one maybe. And yeah, I don't know. I just, um, I really, really like the taste of it. And just with the foundation as well, um, I ended up, I was just going to get a full refund as I said to you guys, but I ended up, uh, look where I have the foundation swatch still on me, so bad. I ended up just picking up the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. There was somebody, like, you know when you go to the grocery store and there are people like in the aisle that you want, like in the aisle that you go into and then right in front of like where you're wanting to buy something, there's someone standing right in front and you can't get in. That's what happened to me. I was going to refund it, but then I just like went in and kind of blurted out that I wanted to exchange it. And the girl was like, yeah, you can exchange it. So then I went to exchange it for the um, Rimmel, another Rimmel Match Perfection, which I don't know if there would have been one that would have been the right color for me. Um, so I just ended up picking up the Maybelline, which I really actually like this foundation anyways. So that's basically it. Um, I think I'm going to finish the vlog here. Um, I know it was kind of boring it was just me pretty much like in my car most of the time but I will get better I will start trying to vlog um, when I actually go places I just really need to go because of this like white patch on my face it's so funny I must have been in the grocery store with that the whole time how awkward um but anyway so yeah i'm gonna go now um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i promise i'll do start to do more exciting vlogs when i do things but if you guys like this vlog and you want me to do more then let me know and give me a thumbs up and i'll try and make it a bit more exciting so that's it um so i'll see you guys soon Bye.